I really couldn't believe that a white space can do so much damage. Let's discuss. So a Google engineer named Alyssa Welk, she's a senior staff engineer, I believe, has discovered a recent vulnerability hole in um, the way web servers and proxies patches uh, HTTP headers. Okay, and that related to having white spaces essentially, okay, in the header. So we might say, well, why would it matter, Hussein? It's just a white space, it's just a space. What, what could a white space do so much damage? It actually, it can do potential bad stuff, right? Especially related to security. I, I realized that all my, my videos, software news are all really security related for some reason, okay? And it's not really a security channel, by the way, guys. I talk about other stuff as well. But it's happened, these recent news is always like that. It's a little bit old, it's like last month, right? But still worth worth reporting because Node.js has just patched this bug, literally this February, okay? Because we're in Feb now. They patched this bug, the same exact thing. Same exact thing, and see, reported by LSO. So I just, it just caught my eye and I wanted to discuss it and talk about it and what, what exactly this bug is. So this, by the way, this is Envoy. Envoy is uh, essentially another proxy, right? Uh, so I believe most linked, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Linkerd, and other proxies will just follow up this by and start patching their their releases, hundred percent, right? Unless they are so smart they actually thought about that. But so the bug is in the header. If you have in the header values, right? Just the value of the header. If you have an extra space that is not trimmed at the end, things could go so wrong. Let's explain an example. Let's let's take an example. So let's assume you have a website. It's called www.northamerica.com. So this website is dedicated for only North American people. So if your IP address is from North America, you can access the website. If it's not, then you can't. And you might say, how do you do that? Well, you can do use HA proxy to do an ACL, right? Access control list or envoy or any proxy to do a rule that says, hey, if you're not from these IP addresses, if your IP address doesn't fall within this range, then block, sorry, you forbidden, whatever, right? You return an error. And that rule is, is basically in the proxy. And if not, then go back, go ahead and forward that request. The proxy will forward the request to the backend, which is the web server. And the web server will essentially serves you your content, right? So that's how it works. So let's assume I am an attacker. I am from a country that I'm, I'm not supposed to access NorthAmerica.com, right? This website. I'm from Malaysia, okay? I'm from Malaysia and I did instead my own git request and in the host header which is the most important header of all right in the http 1 1 and 2 i specified i'm not sure about that with sni right this header becomes less and less relevant to be honest right with sni and esni the encrypted sni becomes really less relevant but still it's the most important header so nevertheless but yeah so this, I made a host, a get request, and I specify in the host header, NorthAmerica.com, that I added a space at the end of it. So it's NorthAmerica.com space. It's not the same thing, right? But when the proxies look at it, okay, and the proxies, most of them are very case sensitive, and they just literally check whatever you give them, okay? And if it checks that, it says, oh, oh NorthAmerica.com space, well, that is not NorthAmerica.com. That is not equal. So that's the completely different website. Okay, go on. I don't need to check your IP address. I don't need to check everything. So I just bypassed the proxy. And it goes back to the back end. And the back end says, okay, what is NorthAmerica.com? The web server, most web servers actually just truncate that stuff, right? And it's truncate at the end of the spaces. And if it does, it says, okay, NorthAmerica.com space is exactly the same thing as northamerica.com so it will actually serve the attacker the content they are they are not supposed to see and think about it as anything admin.yourwebsite.com nobody 
external should ever access this thing. It's only internal. And it's only internal IPs, for example. And you have like a list of IPs. If you're not doing this check correctly, then it's done. So this is the job of the proxies and the web servers to always trim and check, not do it half half like oh i'm not gonna try i'm gonna exactly check that thing no so small bugs like this guys can lead to a huge security flaws that can lead to disasters and 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 so much problems right so just think about that right and, and that t t comes back to the point that if you think about it when i see a software like nginx and i'm not throwing shade at nginx right but and just or caddy or any any web server a web server or a software that does two jobs, it acts like a proxy and a web server is is a question mark for me because I'm I don't think I'm gonna use that in production. I rather use a software that is dedicated to its job, right? So if I am gonna use a proxy, I'm gonna use HA proxy because HA proxy doesn't claim to be an, a web server. It is just a proxy. And I love that about that. Because if you have learned anything from programming and development, software engineering, every feature you introduce comes with I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40 bugs, right? So if you're having two features or even more then you have to deal with all these security bugs you have to deal with all the bugs that are just stops the workflows of the users you have to deal with features that you're not really equivalency stuff like so okay this web server does it why your web server doesn't do it right or then you start adding more and more features just to equival equilibrize i don't know if that's a word yourself with other web servers that are dedicated to be a web servers right so that's just an advice and it's my personal opinion see the merch right create create just the software that you are supposed to create don't claim to be two things right and if you want to do that then separate these two projects separate the the concerns and and ship them and two software so this way you have a team that manages the proxy side of it and you, because you know how difficult it is to build a proxy guys it's not just a forward thing because yeah you have the layer seven stuff you have the layer four stuff and and, and it's a complex thing right it's a very complex thing to build okay so another thing here i want to mention it says here, affected component HTTP 1x. It's very important that, okay? HTTP 2 is not affected by this for some reason. And that tells me that because the headers are are, are streamed and has explicit, explicit tags, right? So it knows where to start and end. And that the headers itself are binary converters so and that process of conversion they'll probably be trimmed to have the correct values i might be wrong there okay it's just interesting that this envoy just fixed the one x and not the two x thing right and for the for the node.js is exactly the same bug right same bug right it's just why should have should be essentially uh trimmed right and uh, Node.js doesn't really specify which module this is specified, uh, this is affected to. All right, guys. So that's uh, the news. I want to talk about the, oh, uh, the white space, optional white space trimming. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome.